Hi, good morning, and thank you for inviting me for this uh, presentation. I am Mr. Sisong Sia. Actually, I'm principal consultant from Malaysia, Securmetric Technology, Sanyang Bahan. Today, I am going to present Malaysia government effort to create a simple and stronger online authentication uh, ecosystem. Let me share with you uh, what we have done in uh, Malaysia for this uh, for a year and this one, two year. And uh, we managed to work very closely with the federal government of Malaysia that done a lot of uh, POC and some project. And uh, we have successfully uh, implemented some of the work uh, with the government Malaysia. For example, uh, actually we, after we done the project and the POC work with some of the ministry. So we managed to work with the national security agency that deployment of the FIDO to protect the national uh, security system and also for them to do uh, uh, to protect the the back the, the system that uh, being assessed, being uh, disclosed and also uh, for the assessors and for assessment for the national security. And also uh, the second project that uh, we close and we implement, we is uh, under government, uh, federal government also, we is a Ministry of Finance, Malaysia, that to protect three of the critical application, the financial application and the budget application and also tech and uh, procurement. Let me jump into uh, Ministry of Finance that uh, I got uh, allowed to, to share most of the POC and uh, deployment work under this uh, ministry. So as you know, uh, Ministry of uh, Finance Malaysia as in charge and responsibility for the government explanation and also uh, also, uh, also the revenue uh, raising. And also the ministry role uh, is to develop economy policy and prepare for Malaysia federal budget. The objective for the deployment at this uh, Ministry of Finance Malaysia, there is two. First is um, the Ministry of Finance effort that they want to create a simple, strong online authentication ecosystem target to serve all the important uh, ministry application and the system nationwide that can support and also provide the strong authentication. And the second is a uh, secure metric uh, invited and also give an opportunity to implement and deploy, especially the FIDO uh, solution for the Malaysia uh, Ministry of Finance to protect the three critical applications such as national budget system, e-government procurement, and also tax uh, management. So we have been uh, doing this deployment and also have been started uh, working with the Ministry of Finance to protect these three uh, applications. So coming soon, we have a uh, few more integration and few more applications waiting us to do the integration and support and protect by our solution and also the FIDO uh, solution. So I jump into this, uh, what are the user actually uh, when we deploy uh, this uh, solution under Ministry of Finance? So of course, this uh, ecosystem, authentication ecosystem must, must be uh, un, must be support all the member under Ministry of Finance and member from also from other ministry and agency because for example, like the procurement, like the tax and like the, uh, the budget system. So other member from other ministry also need to access. So that is why we open and also support other ministry and user also to protect under this uh, Ministry of Finance application. So other is a member of parliament also. Uh, they are user for under national budget and also the procurement and also some corporate user that involved on the tax uh, solution or tax system, and also the public user that they want to apply as a tax exemption when they want to have some uh, program under Ministry of Finance. So you can see the extract here is, for FIDO actually we implement currently only in these two group. Lah. Actually the, un, the user under fin, uh, Ministry of Finance, actually we is uh, the, the, the user that, uh, have a strong uh, need to have a strong protection. For example, like the 
budget approval and also some uh, administrator that able to view the content of the budget system. And also some other ministry uh, or agency that basically approve the budget. So they are the user currently using the FIDO uh, to, to, to perform the user authentication. So in order that we want to accept uh, the FIDO token, so there is some uh, evaluation. We go through together with the Ministry of Finance uh, ICT uh, division. So first that we need to go through some security architecture together with the team and also some algorithm support, especially the just signature that they want to support consistent signing and also biometric technology, fingerprint uh, recognition that make sure that the, the protection and also the implementation must be aligned with the Ministry of Finance uh, requirement. There is some interface uh, token we discussed. Uh, there's type A, a USB, type C, USB, and BLE and NFC also are under this consideration. And other than evaluation, privacy protection also, for example, like how we handle the biometric for FIDO. So there is a pass, actually the privacy protection requirement setting up by the Ministry of Finance and also easy to manage. So in this example, uh, actually I have got uh, a few vendors to support me, actually from US, from China, uh, from Korea, actually, uh, they have give me some sample during this uh, evaluation. So at the end, uh, this is a biopass that Ministry of Finance uh, choose to deploy at the Ministry of Finance. So currently, we support only uh, single vendor. And coming soon, maybe other vendor, they say if they, they want to do mass uh, deployment, maybe we can consider other vendor as well. So for the user authentication under this uh, FIRO uh, framework, that the main, uh, actually they want to replace the big passport, uh, password with a strong hardware authentication with the public key crypto to protect actually again, the phishing uh, session hijack made in the middle and malware attack, which is best fit using FIDO solution. And the second is uh, the problem is, uh, for example, the like I mentioned, the critical application, there is no secret or share okay, between the services and the user. So FIDO token are fit into this requirement which uh, the biometric verification and also for the token that uh, user very hard for them to do a share and access the system for viewing or the content. And the other is uh, single sign-on and also the single credential and support major browser, so as a major browser today, Chrome, IE, Firefox, and Safari. So for the FIDO token, basically come natively support and no require any driver or any installation or configuration. So for the user authentication, basically uh, we are working with the Minister of Finance. We support actually few types, but only currently two uh, methods are using at this moment, which is uh, through the web API, to achieve the single credential. So mean that the same credential can be used to log in to multiple application. And the second to achieve the single sign-on. So security, uh, security exception markup language SMS version 2 uh, framework or the protocol are using to achieve the single sign-on. For the transition signing, this is uh, the, our key feature that uh, to provide uh, to Minister of Finance that which we can uh, have advantage over the other solution that is in our system can provide the transition signing. So our transition signing solution actually is work by creating a signature unit to each particular transaction. So for this type of a solution, we serve data integrity to ensure the authenticity and delivering any chain made to the transaction after it has been electronically signed the online transaction. So in this example, we have implemented actually cross two uh, agency, well, two ministry. One is for, for earlier the, the, the agency and also now Ministry of Finance also having the same uh, implementation transaction signing that basically every type of approval or any transaction that high risk enable government agency and the user need to do a transaction signing that later can be, the transaction can be authenticity and integrity 
the entire uh, transaction online. And you can see that after the, the this why we need to implement this transaction signing. So after all the these uh, transactions have been signed, have been uh, easy for authenticity and the integrity have been guaranteed. So any assisting any decline or any or any uh, possibility of the online transaction port. That's why this is a very important feature for us to implement based on uh, the FIDO uh, uh, token. So under this uh, Ministry of Finance uh, project, we call it project and uh, after done few uh, POC and implement FIDO school solution with the biometric authentication. So this is a requirement set by Ministry of Finance that currently the system uh, already going live. Uh, with the uh, implement uh, this uh, FIDO with the uh, biometrics authentication. And FIDO 2 implementation in, includes SIP, user authentication, and also the transaction signing like this one I mentioned to prevent any transaction fraud. And why they chose circuit metric actually? Of course, one of the reason is we are in Malaysia, we are one of the considered expert domain under authentication, PKS security and O and also for the authentication. So that's why our solution is a local make and a Ministry of Finance that uh, evaluated and actually uh, for approve the implementation to protect the critical application like the budget system. And we have all the, the certification uh, by FIDO Alliance for our FIDO2 server to, to complete also our authentication solution. And it's the same solution. Our FIDO2 server have been integrated with our authentication system and also en enable user registration and management in one portal and user authentication and the SSO capability to support uh, all the, the ministry application need. And also we enable the transition signing. So one of the reasons why Ministry of Finance ICT had adopt this FIDO2 because one of the reasons is they want to enable passwordless authentication. So that it was set by year 2022. So this is a feature or the method that they want to enable for certain user group user, passwordless authentication must be implemented in this uh, Ministry of Finance. So next uh, for I want to show you something uh, that we have done some POC with the uh, government agency and also some of the telecommunication and uh, some corporate uh, company that how to implement the FIDO authentication. Also, at the same time, we together with our authentication solution can able to achieve the single sign-on. So you can see here is a demo that uh, I prepared by our PCL that we are actually using our, our system that enable to sign in to the Microsoft uh, 365 and also same time single sign on to Google. So you can see that this is a portal that later I want to show you some demo and, uh, and the screen there is to show you our actually uh, FIDO uh, to token that later will be used for the authentication and also to achieve the single sign-on. So first, we go to access the Microsoft uh, 365 portal that enter the, the username. And you can see this will direct to our uh, target cloud, our authentication system, that user need to key in the username. And we support uh, MFA. And this example, the user must use FIDO. So you can see that another screen to show the activation of the FIDO token and you need the biometric verification and then access uh, the Microsoft 365. So after then that, I open another tab to access the Google Gmail. So that is demonstrate the single sign-on. That key in again the username for the Google account and there is no more uh, authentication that can achieve single sign-on to this uh, Google Street account or Google account. So this is how we do a POC uh, to some corporate and also to some uh, ministry. At the same time, this type of implementation also we will deploy and uh, implement in the Ministry of Finance. 
the same con similar concept. And uh, last, we have um, testimonial from uh, the head of the ICT uh, department under Ministry of Finance. So his name is uh, Mohammad uh, Fendi Min Os Osman. So he is working closely with me to implement this authentication system and also to achieve all the requirements set by his team and also by uh, to meet all the requirements and setting up by the policy and also, also the requirement by the, the MOF, ICT policy department. So he give a lot of uh, actually uh, good uh, comment after we implemented this solution one year, we support the national critical application. And same time also we uh, have give uh, received some very good comment actually from the developer or from the person in charge for the budget system that uh, our system be able to protect and the easy to do the integration and the same time also easy to, to manage the user and also that uh, more freedom for them to, to log into the system with the high security protection. So for the testimony from uh, Mohammed Fendi, that uh, the, our solution, it can uh, the trusted authentication platform for simple and strong online authentication ecosystem also provide the balance between access security authentication and the privacy. And at the same time also enable ministry user to connect all ministry application level secure metric solution to identify and analyze potential threat and a quick uh, the quick faster and the last that we want to achieve uh, next year 2022 we is going for passwordless authentication solution so this one next year i will work closely with inject fendi team to enable our our uh, secure metric solution together with fido to achieve passwordless authentication Hi everyone my name uh, fendi I am Head of ICT Infrastructure, Ministry of Finance, Measure. Uh, I'm happy to announce that we have been using CentraGate or FIDO for more than a year since 2020. Uh, it was a trusted authentication platform for simpler and stronger online authentication ecosystem. Also provide the balance between access, security, authentication and privacy. This approach enables ministry users to connect all ministry applications uh, and leverage secure metric solution to identify and analyze potential threats and quit, uh, act quickly. Uh, for the near future on 2022, we plan for passwordless authentication solution. Thank you and good day. So thank you and that's all for my presentation. So if you have any question, feel free to, to ask and I am willing to answer your question as far as I can. Thank you and thank you for your attention and thank you for giving me opportunity to present in this conference. Thank you.